Hello and welcome back to my channel E Maths. And today I'm back with a new topic of linear equations. So, what are linear equations? Before I start off with linear equation, let's talk about only equations. A statement which states that the two algebraic expressions are equal is called an equation. Now let's move on to the linear equation. So the equation involving one variable in first order is called linear equation. Now a linear equation has only one solution. So let's move on and see how can we solve linear equations. So I'm going to take a very simple example and that is going to be a simple equation. If this equal to sign is there, it means it is an equation and we can find the value of the unknown and that's why we solve equation only to get the value of the unknown variable. So here if you see we have this as a number, this as a number, only this is a variable which is unknown. So we are going to solve this equation to find the value of x. Now I am going to discuss only about one method and that is transposition which is the best method to do linear equations. So transposition means when you have to find the value of the unknown, you need to look around its around this expression. If you have a constant with it, you need to remove that. To remove that, what we are actually going to do is we are going to transpose this to the other hand side. If you want, you can just write LHS to this side and RHS to this side, which means this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side whatever term you are transposing on the other hand side whether you're bringing any term from this side to lhs or from lhs to rhs you just need to see that the sign is getting changed so here if i'm transposing this one on the other hand side this one will have a plus sign on the rhs and now we can simply solve it and we get the value of x as 3. that's how we solve simple equations so that was an easy equation that I took up to just explain you how you can do the transposition. So it was about the subtraction sign and when you transpose that on the other hand side, it took the positive side. Vice versa, if you are taking a positive number on the other side, it will become a negative number. Now in case of division multiplication, what happens is if you have, a have two terms in division, when you transpose it on the other hand side, it will take the sign of multiplication. And if you have it in multiplication on one end and you're transposing it, it will go into the division sign then. So let's take the examples for the same. I'm going to take for division and multiplication in one single thing. Here is an equation. Now, if you see, we have this denominator, which means we have the division part also here. If you see the numerator, we have this. Now, this dot represents that the two things are being multiplied. So we'll remove one by one. First, remove this denominator. To remove it, here it is in division. When I'll transpose it, it will go on the other hand side and it will take the sign of multiplication. Now, in the next step, you can either solve this set or you can also transpose this on the other hand side. So I'm going to transpose this 3 also on the other hand side. Keeping this 12 into 2 as it is, I'll bring this 3 down in the denominator. Now, if you see this entire thing, we have a multiplication sign in the center, which means that we can cancel the terms if it is possible. 3 fours are and 4 twos are is 8. That's how we work on with division and multiplication in linear equation. Again, that was an easier one. Now I'm going to take two rational numbers with x's and I'm going to show you how to solve such equations. For example, I have taken x upon 4 minus x upon 3 equals to 14. Now, in such cases, children often get confused how to solve this. Because even if you are taking LCM, there might be confusion how to write the numerators there. I will give you a very simple thing. And if you follow that, you will never do your question wrong. In such cases, if you are like not able to take LCM properly, you can do just this method and that is known as a butterfly method. So as I said butterfly method, I'm going to draw a butterfly for you. Which means, see here we have 
the butterfly method in which we are going to cross multiply. We'll keep the numerators at their own places. Only we'll cross it, cross multiply by the denominator of the other term. So this shows that this x is going to be multiplied by this 3 and this will give you 3x. Whatever sign is here, put it here. Now, you need to multiply this 4 by x, so you will get a 4x here. So we are just multiplying everywhere. And here also we are going to multiply 4 3 is 12. Now, you can simply write this down here. This is 3x minus 4x equals to 14 will remain the same. You can cross, you can either solve this, this will be minus x and you can cross multiply this on the other hand side. So, 14 into 12. After writing this much, you need to transpose the sign also, but let's solve this. When you solve this, you will get minus x equals to 168. And now transpose this minus sign also on the other hand side. So, this will be minus 168. So, if you are removing a minus sign from here, the other side will have that minus sign. So, that's how we solve such equation. So, remember this butterfly method, it helps a lot in solving bigger equations as well. I'll show you with an example. Now, I'm going to take a question of a little higher level. X minus 1 upon 2 minus X minus 2 upon 3 equals to 1. As I told you, for such questions, you need to use the butterfly method. So, again, when you will do the butterfly method, make sure that you are taking x minus 1 in this group. And when you will multiply this 2 by the other term, make sure that you are covering x minus 2. So, this means we are going to multiply this 3 by x minus 1. And let this minus sign be here. We are going to multiply this 2 by x minus 2 and as I told you in the previous question that the denominators gets multiplied. So, you get a 6 here which is equals to 1. In the now, this is whole upon in the next step you can simply cross multiply this 6 on the other hand side. Let us open up the bracket. This will give you 3x minus 3 minus 2x. Now, the point to be noted is here we have a minus sign. Before the bracket, make sure you are multiplying this minus sign with this minus as well. So, minus minus will give you a plus. 2 2 is 4. And as I told you, we can multiply the 6 on the other hand side. So, this will give you a 6. Now, keeping all the x's together, 3x minus 2x minus 3 plus 4 equals to 6. 3x minus x is x. Minus 3 and plus 4 is plus 1 equals to 6, transpose this plus 1 on the other hand side, so this will be 6 minus 1, which will give you a 5 as the answer. So, I hope this becomes easier for you all if you do this butterfly method and do the question. That's all for the day. Keep watching and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.